fake collection, uh, well, phone collection video. The behind the scenes, like, uh, well, behind the uh, stuff I was working on this. Um, got two interesting devices. One is actually new for you, like for YouTube site, because I never showed this off yet. Um, not telling you yet until I get through all the devices. Um, this one also is a new device. Have a guess what it is. Um, anyway, let's start with. I laid out from what I known, like uh, age wise and like size wise. You know, there's sometimes a few places that is wrong, but uh, it should be mostly like age wise properly. You know, from newest to oldest or oldest to newest, but there should be in each brand is separate. I have now four pixels in my collection. A bunch of iPhones <laughs> and a ton of Samsungs. Um, specifically with the Samsungs, I'm not going to be even pronouncing the full name because I'm not. I'm not going to repeat myself like a parrot. But let's start with a Z Fold uh, Four. Uh, the uh, outside screen works perfectly fine, but the inside screen is completely broken. I don't have an inside screen, and the camera outside camera is broken. I have clear modded it, and yeah, that's basically it. And running uh, Android 12. Uh, I have a Z, uh, Z Flip uh, 4, fully functional. Was uh, this and that was originally MDM locked. Both of them were locked to one, uh, to a thing. I have removed removed her on this flip, and it's up to date software, so it's now working but we're fine. And I'm daily actually this is like one of my daily drivers I use. Um, then I have this S twenty this S twenty three life demo unit, and if I decide to show you close up. You can see right there, live domain not for sale. But yeah, it works quite fine. I'm used it as an MP3 player most of the time. Uh, okay. Listen to music most of the time. Then my actual daily driver that I use a lot. Um, it's a and it's a 512 gig variant uh, was pre-ordered uh, in lavender. Other S23 Ultra, I have two D's S23 Ultra in green or whatever color it is. Live demo units. I'm actually currently recording uh, the video on right now, one of them. Again, nothing very special. It's just a live demo unit, cannot call anything. Yeah, you can see, fine. <laughs> um, I have a Note 20 Ultra. Uh, this had seen uh, three different screens I had to fix uh, because of uh, had to fix the camera lens three times. So I had uh, this annoying. Then clear modded it, and the twenty five, the twenty ultra, uh, the twenty ultra five G cost on me fifty quid only. Uh, yeah, got it from uh, got it from a friend. Uh, got two A forty, two A forties. Well, this one battery flat, but uh, you can see right there, A forty. Another one is the FRP locked and the screen is broken. I need to get a proper OLED panel. Next one I have is a Note 10 Plus 5G. Uh, you can see quite wear and tear 
on the back, planning to claim out this soon. Then my previous uh, previous uh, uh, daily driver, I had an S S10 Plus, and it's locked to. Okay, give a second to boot up, and it's locked to three in uh, UK. Well, locked. To, it's unlocked, but it's a uh, has a three boot up animation. Then I have uh, my Note 9, again another daily driver I owned, uh, it was locked to EE, it was unlocked and now it's a unlocked variant of the uh, Note 9. No boot up animation, nothing cool. Then I have, thanks to a buddy, uh, link below, gonna be, um, for the Note 9, uh, an Amer Americana flavor. Uh, because the uh, European don't have text on the bottom, they only Euro uh, Americans have. Again, an unlocked variant, so I can do comparison tests between who has better, Snapdragon or Exynos. This was an, ac this was an accidental uh, send, again from the same friend. Uh, it's a Verizon uh, locked, well not locked, but the uh, Verizon, well, yeah, Verizon boot up animation. It's a Note 9 and the screen is kind of screwed and you get a workish screen for it. There you go, hello, Verizon. Next I have is an S S9, uh, unlocked, uh, European, and it's not even set up if, I'm not, if, if my memory serves well because I was uh, mucking about with uh, constant roaming and this refused to constant roam for me. Meanwhile I have here another S, uh, S9, it has no software right now, it's going to boot into T, uh, TWRP. So yeah, constant in the middle of constant roaming this one, and this is I need to reset up this thing, uh, or put it into three software because originally this was three, but um, next I have is an again same friend. Um, it's uh, Samsung Galaxy X Cover Field Pro lock. Um, on AT and T. That's how the back looks, and uh, the party trick of this uh, device. Remember the olden days that you can remove the remove the back with, and you can replace the battery. And it has the cameras of an S9, so it's basically take an S7 active uh, and an S9. Make it double times harder to rest, uh, like double, double down on materials, and you get X Cover for Pro. Then I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 running Android 9, the final update they got. No cool animation. No cool boot up animation, unfortunately. Then I got a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 prototype. You can see how flat it is. Uh, flat screen. Back is saying. <laughs> you can actually see if you want to read, you can pause. But it says confidential, do not leak, and stuff like that. Here I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus uh, on Android 9. Uh, the screen is slightly broken. But yeah, again, it's locked. It's actually a Hong Kong variant, if I'm not wrong. 
uh, no bit of an animation, unfortunately. Here I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus on Android 7. For a second binary uh, update. Quite early for its uh, life has ended. It's a Sprint. No, it's a, again, a Hong Kong variant, I think so. If my memory serves. Here I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 Active uh, on Android 9. Uh, oh, this is while it's booting up. I have here a S8 Active running a uh, factory binary. AT&T sound. And this is running factory binary, so it's running prototype software on it. working and this is run uh, has Android 7 this stacker of s8 one of these is running Android 9 uh, Android 8 just no Android 8 nothing modded just stock Android 8 device and the three of these are modded uh, and running Android 10 I have decided to put like a S8 uh, UW thing. You can see no boot up animation and they all have like a central golf as a front, main front. Then I have in my collection, someone stole my S Pen, but I uh, have a Note 7 prototype in my collection. Running Android 6 first binary. So before the green battery update, so and before the battery brick update. And it has the battery, original battery in it, so that is, uh, say it's not for sale. And it's made in uh, Korean, not made in China, like the other one. And I have a, a cool video to uh, show little details about this thing. Also, I'm trying to get an actual Note 7. If anybody has a good place where to get the Note 7, you can help me out. <laughs> like, comment below. I have two S7, uh, S7 edges. One is custom ROMed. Uh, the purple line of death, um, and then I have another SM edge. Okay, this is not custom. This is stock uh, on three, and it's a uh, stock uh, Samsung Experience Eight. Uh, and this is custom mode. Okay. I have S8 here. Now the interesting ones. I uh, have uh, here an S7 that is a T-Mobile, an S7 that is a UK Unlocked, and an S7 that is a SK Telecom uh, one. They're all unlocked because they work... They all work uh, because I know that uh, I've put a SIM card in them. Because it's just uh, boring boot up, and with this one, it should be thought as a boring boot up. A T Mobile, and this one should be having S7, and then it should be at the bottom says uh, Band LTE SK Telecom. Also, oh, these are clear modded.
Next I have an S7 active. Uh, locked. I have two of these S7 actors. One, one of them is in my parts bin for the motherboard because the motherboard is not sim locked. This is a sim locked, uh, so it's locked to AT and T. Next, I have a J7 Prime two. <laughs> I was about to like a uh, second guess uh, what I just said. No, it was right. Uh, it's a is a J7 Prime. I have nothing else to say about it. Next, I have an A3 from 2017. How you know it's a 2017 model? Has a USB C. Just a, a normal com normal A A3. Next I have a T-Mobile uh, variant of an S6 running Android 6 Has a very annoying line Again T-Mobile, more hunky dory Then I have uh, this S6 Edge that just boots up into the S6 Edge screen, and that's it. Doesn't do anything else but the screen. Uh, here's another S6 Edge. Uh, does the same thing, boots up into the screen, and nothing else. And I have another S6 Edge that uh, has a sticky button, but it boots up and is an unlocked variant of an S6 Edge. I might actually do a video of me replacing the screen from this guy to this guy. Um, yeah, fully functional S6 Edge. Next, I have uh, two S6s. Uh, one of them is uh, on stock. Guess actually which one is on stock? Play modded or? This. Spoilers. The claim model has uh, it's, uh, uh, not custom ROMed, and uh, the custom ROMed one is the stock look. I don't know why this takes a bit extra more time to boot up on the uh, one UI ROM. But yeah, you can see it. Put up and hunky dory we go. This has a white screen, I put as a put up. You know, as a difference and it adjusts to it adjusts to uh, the resolution. Next I have a J5. Don't know what year. But it's one of the new J5s because you can see it's a new font. In a kind of sad state, but you know, just a normal J5. Next, I have an S5 in a uh, working condition. Another S5 that is locked to O2. Well, it's on O2. Sec another one is an S5 Neo. Have no idea if it's working because I have no screen for it. Another S5 that is. Also, I have no idea if it works. Again, these are in my parts in my parts bin. But uh, here's the normal one. S5, and you can put into uh, TWRP uh, recovery because there's no um, image. Oh no! It's running a um, factory binary. Never mind. Sorry. Okay, I thought that it didn't have anything, but I need the battery, so you make the battery out of it. And uh, let's put it into this guy. The other S5, uh, S5 I have. It's an LCD panel, temporarily. 
And I'll have to work with what I have. There you go. Go to build up animation. And just put back the uh, battery. And put back a different power machine. Then I have an S4. Again, the power button is like a ridiculously hard thing that you need to press. Make sure you actually pressed it. And make sure the battery is not dead. No, the battery is not dead. It's a GT9505 variant, so it's probably an international uh, Snapdragon. I actually need to put TWRP uh, on this thing too. Yeah, battery's dead. Then I have this an S3. On DWLP, uh, I think so. It's run on DWLP. It's a GT9305 variant. Oh no, it's actually running a three um, brand uh, Android. Then I have this uh, J6 in kind of sad state. Works though. <laughs> an S6 Edge Plus in very sad state, I need to buy parts for this. I think so I have a battery for it, but I don't have a screen for it. But I really want to see how good is the S6 Edge Plus that people raved about. Okay, Lumia, uh, Windows Phone, some kind of Windows Phone, I have no idea, because uh, it's probably even dead. Yeah, it's dead. Um, it's a model number of RM976, if anybody cares. Then I have this uh, Sony Xperia uh, Z5 uh, uh, Compact. If my memory serves well. Clay model. Actually kinda of looks kinda of sick. Mm, matte back. Next I have a uh, Samsung uh, 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 Sony Ex Xperia something. I don't know what it is, so it has no back. I need to buy a back for it. I have here a Google Pixel uh, 4A. Has a very interesting bug saying that Discord is not installed, even though Discord is installed. Like, I, I can navigate into the so Discord and it works both fine. Interesting bug. Spotify works both fine. <laughs> um, I have a Google Pixel 3a, again thanks to a uh, friend of mine that uh, sent me stuff. Power by Android. Uh, these are two Google Pixel, f uh, two Google Pixel One XLs, or the first gen XL. Okay, this one is dead. The battery's died on it. Um, this one is fully functional. Uh, 
I have a Samsung Galaxy Ace. Dead. Dead. <laughs> Battery died. Um, and a Samsung Galaxy Trend, if I'm not wrong. Dead. I mean, I haven't charged these uh, ones for a long, long time. Another one, I have no idea if it's charged. Oh, it is charged, okay. It's a Samsung... Style. It's a style. <laughs> Next, I have a iPhone 13. On iOS 17.2. The zero point seven uh, point two. Want to daily drive this thing? Uh, want to uh, give a last chance to Apple? Um, because it's not even set up yet. Next, I have a iPhone XS Max running on. Uh, Running on iOS twelve point three point one, kind of cool collect uh, collection piece. An iPhone seven plus iCloud locked. Um, an iPhone six S uh, Wi Fi and uh, Bluetooth chip is completely broken. Doesn't work. A uh, iPhone six plus. In space grey, uh, it's the CPU is completely heft, it's gone. Uh, the iPhone X, uh, yeah, the iPhone X uh, charging IC, and like it's, it's slowly gonna kick the bucket someday. Uh, two iPhone 8s, uh, I got locked. Uh, one is slightly iCloud locked, the one that I've tried to look like a prototype, and the other one is on my account fully working on iOS 15. Uh, and these two are iCloud locked, and one of them has a cell baseband issue. Uh, iPhone 7s, they're all 32 gigs, I'm not wrong. Uh, file of an uh, iPhone 6s's. Uh, my my one that works a uh, touch ID issue. Uh, I got locked. I got locked. I got locked. Um, iPhone sixes, two not I got locked on my account. Um, rest of these uh, I got locked. Uh, on mention an iPhone 11 uh, purple color, just a shell and the screen. There's nothing else in this. iPhone 5C uh, on my account, working for fine. iPhone 5S uh, on my account, I got locked, but I had to bypass it. When I was 12.3. 12 point something something, I don't remember. Uh, iPhone 4S. Dead bad. Or well, iPhone 4, 4S, I don't know which one it is. Uh, again, iPhone 4, 4S, I don't remember. Battery dead on both of them. One of them is like white, white one, I have a black one, and also I have the like slightly. Mixture between colors. And on the on the wall mention mentions, I have here frames for Galaxy Z uh, Z Flip Four uh, in la purple burgundy color, and a Galaxy Z uh, Fold Three frame to show how the, uh, the the hinge works. But yeah, that's all for my. Basically, my collection. 
I hope you enjoyed the what 30 40 minutes long video yeah 30 minute long video of me just yapping about what I have in my collection currently this is a this is the current uh, date and time of the videos you've been recorded so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this if you did you know what to do.